Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. We had quite a good episode yesterday, I think. Got a lot of shit done. Got Caden back on board. Sure. Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Good job, trainer. Uh, game night. Commander, thanks for taking the time to speak with uh, the civilian. I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you'd like to grab drinks in your cabin? I promise not to fun and games. Rainer. Fortunately, you have to be a fem Shep to pursue that one. Sender blocked. Dear Shepard, changing my identity was good advice. Once again, you've saved my life. After we last spoke, I overheard some refugees mention Cerberus. Uh, then they said my name. I freaked out until I recognised their voices. Close friends of mine who've defected in disguise and on the run, just like me. They're a talented engineer, Shepard, who could help with the war effort. I've attached uh, contact information to forward to whoever could use your help. You can trust them. Missing you, Ch Kelly Chambers. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Uh, the networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the co uh, conference room so we don't get interrupted. Uh, uh, I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Maybe at the bar. I think we've already done this one. Students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out, so we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time we hit the set I'll come by purgatory, I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. Yeah, we've already done that one. Uh, some news. Delesh Mole. Adrian Victor's Commander Shepard. Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy, uh, hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information. Excuse me. And the only other person who knew uh, the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. I've heard ugly rumours of a bounty out for his head. My advisors uh, insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined. And now isn't the time for political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a Spectre and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I forwarded information on his last loan location to the Spectre office in the Citadel. I'll get right on that. Got a bit. Uh, hey Commander, just wondering if you've got some time in the near future. Nothing critical, just wanted to chat. Kylang's dossier. Shepard, as promised, here is what we have on Kylang. Uh, system... Uh, Alliance Military Enlistment, November 14, 2172. 16 credentials faked. Uh. Force of Duty, Terminal Systems, Exodus. Oh, 
used to be very busy. Cerberus activities. Intel and Kylan's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Lang's escape from prison, following him as an operative for the next 10 years. Lang is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. Cybernetic uh, modifications appear to include cyber, uh, Cerberus's Phantom Class implant. Priority Citadel Shore Leave. And Mohacket Commander Shepard, I'm uh, ordering the Normandy to dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army a small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive. So let's get your crew out uh, out of there. You're all on shore leave, that's an order. We need everybody at their best. One more thing, Admiral Anderson has an apartment on the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. Perfect. Let's go around and have a chat with everybody. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of river forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. <laughs> go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. Ooh. Edie. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachanka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachanko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. You're welcome, Edie. Defense Matrix unlocked, available in the mid bay. Nice. Let's head down there then. Dr. Chapman sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Cheers, trainer. Turns out I was just heading down there. Hey, Garrus. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? 
I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. True. May I speak with you, Commander? Oh, you there. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Good stuff. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near the docks. On it. But who else is on this floor? Uh, Liara and Caden. In is starboard, which that left or right? Well, it wasn't this one, so it's the other one. Hey, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. It scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. A bit calm yourself, Caden. She's all jokers. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kind of like it. Living lean. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. Alright. Good to know. Right, let's go chat with Liara. I haven't checked in on Javik for a bit, so we better check in on him as well. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments at once. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, power damage bonus, health bonus. Always use more health. Thanks for coming by. Oh, uh, okay. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Uh, that can wait, I'm sure. And Javik's in here. Yeah, there he is. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Faith. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I 
still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. <laughs> you think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this. And we'll both be set free. I do need to be careful with Javik. I think if you talk to him too much, he'll choose to uh, go off and die somewhere. I can't remember if that's how it works or if a certain decision you make uh, promotes that. Might have to look up, look up on that because I want to avoid doing that. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Code Gang. All you did was drop them off and bugger out. How are you proud of that? I seem to remember being shot at the whole time and everyone coming back in one piece, Mr. Vega. Yeah, next time park it and come join the party, Esteban. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Hey, Pooch. Vega, how you doing? Hey, Commander. I knew you. Hey. Hey. Whoops, missed that. Alright, suppose so I better go back to my cabin now and, uh. Oh, hold on. Actually. Uh. Bought a new. Which one was it? All right, that's you done. Oh, right, and um, I need to speak to Engineer Adams as well, don't I? Back to engineering. Speak to Adams because I think I've got what he needed. Thanks, Commander. That GX12 thermal fiber ride. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteered to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn hot in here. Hey, didn't Adams say that all the Normandy is eating? Kenneth, stop right there. 
<laughs> right, good, that's that all sorted. Right, back to my cabin to talk to some people and then we can proceed with some uh, space war stuff. Hey, trainer. If you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander? Ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. You little tease. Come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Damn right. Glutton for punishment. Alright, that's trainer sorted. Alice is up next. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Oh, you're still here, apparently. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Ah, uh, god damn it. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Very good. Oh, did you think. Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. All right. Mr. Vega. I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Loco. I guess... 
Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. <laughs> All right. Bridge unlocked, available in midbay. All right, we're good. Now we can get back to the war. God damn it. All right, Anderson. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith, that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, 
The Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Very space dead. Alright. Now we can crack on. Ah, so I did miss some stuff. Oh, well, now we've got that model back. Commander. Private Campbell, I saw your name this time. Alrighty. Big for the Quarians. Investigate Asari Colony. Find ex Cerberus scientists. Oh, you must be a new one. Head over here first. We may not get space waifu back in this episode. I found something. But we'll get there. Oh, there's a lot in this one, Jesus. What do you have for me? Intact Reaper weapon. Excellent. That'll be useful. Right, found that one. That can stay there. God damn it. Signal confirmed. There we go. <coughs> Library of Asher. Pretty sure I need that for something. You're a hundred percent done. Good. Head over here. Oh shit, is there nothing else in here? No. Alright. Let's get this done. Garrus and Liara. That's the damage. Damage is better. The weight is better. Rate of fire is not as good, but that's part of the problem. Yeah, the accuracy is much better. Okay, we'll stick with you for now then. Disruptor ammo. Ammo capacity. 30% headshots increase damage. Yep, we'll go with that one. Increase health damage by 5%. Short damage. Groups also sign the target. Nope, we'll go with this one. Perfect. 
Ooh, look at my reputation for Paragon. Almost full. Did you get any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Oh, I see you. Grab that. Anything else around here? You were investigating? Yes. My visor's IR says this shuttle's warm. Recent visitor. I wonder who that could be. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. I have not missed that sound. Oh, good. To our staff and students, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Warden, uh, floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay uh, or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Buy me. That's a full on day. I'm not a fan of schedules personally. Well, oh, I don't want to go this way just yet. Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Alright, before we go that way then. Investigate this area. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extra communication without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to these rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. 
Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. Oh, I see you. I saw you. Naughty students doing naughty things. I heard something. That was me. Sorry. Electronic signature. Oh, a merger on point. I might need that for something. Okay. Right, now we're good. Really? Got anything for me? No. Here? No. Nothing else here. Fair enough. didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Let's go. Bit late for that, Shepard. fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Here we go.
Now we get to see what the Asari look like when they've been uh, reaperized. This is doing the job nicely. That used to be a person, an Asari. What have the Reapers done? Same thing they've done to every other species, Liara. You're sorry, we're not, we're never going to be immune. I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. What a cool technique. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> right, let's check these computers. That's the door we need to go through, so let's check this side quickly. Nope. That door's fucked. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Crowbar or biotics, I'm sure you you'd make short work of that, Liara. Alright, nothing else to do here. God damn, this is making mincemeat of them. I like this weapon. What's over here? No, nope, don't need to hide behind anything yet. Uh, Jethra, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. 
The Justicar who brought her to us, Justicar Fura, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashed out at her guard. She's lucky uh, Fura wasn't here for that. The Justicar's code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Justicars on the level of uh, coercion Fura is permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captors arrived here terrified out of their wits, but it will certainly be the last. Oh dear. I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thessia. I'm proving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside our walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that. And pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thessia's government to let our best students visit their home world. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. Harsh, but seems fair. Alright. You don't want to get caught by these, it's a one hit kill otherwise. Go sorted. But anything hiding around here? Probably not, but it's always good to check. Excuse me. More ammo, always helpful. Oh, chair there. Holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. Sure, she did. Go. There's our bomb. And Falaire. Level 53. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? I have a feeling it might be too late for Rila. <gasps> yep, there it is. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry.
Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Not today, you. Whoa. Oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. Where's ammo? There we go. That's the last one. For now, let's get back to that bomb. There we go. She had the detonator. Move. No, Rila. I love you, Rila. God, those things are freaky. At least she went out still being her. Can't ask for more than that. Rila, there wasn't even time to say goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Alair, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, 
I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Hug her some more. There we go. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. Of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. We've already lost two members of the Normandy. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Good idea. Let's head to where Shepard is. Follow the destruction. Fact finder. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Arda and Yakshi left. May the Ardent Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Excellent stuff. Getting closer to getting Waifu back on board, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Now, I'll catch you next time. Take care now.